What's up, everybody? It's Brian with Happy Thumbs Game, and we're getting a first look at Cars 3 Driven to Win. That's right, we're going to give you 45 plus minutes of gameplay, and we're going to ring off a handful of trophy achievements, as you can see there. And, uh, oh, to the, yeah, shout out to Warner Brothers for hooking us up with this copy. And we're going to start things off by checking out a flashback race, which is kind of like a tutorial, kind of shows us some familiar faces, shows us some new. And uh, once we get done, we'll hop right back in and uh, we'll talk some more about the game. Okay, time to race the best of the best. I've dreamed about this moment for as long as I can remember. Okay, Mr. McQueen, let's see how you do. Doc and Smokey are fast, so try to keep up. Remember, skill is everything, and these two had the skills. Get ready. Wow, this is really beautiful. Seeing Thomasville like this is amazing. so much you can learn just by watching these guys. See? You can master this, just like you mastered racing on dirt. Yeah, this is feeling pretty good. River Scott, that time you showed up. Wow, River Scott, this is so cool. Here. Now it's a race. This is awesome! Look out! This is backwards racing, Mr. McQueen. You gotta be prepared. Okay, see how they did that? Try to mimic their movements. I got this, Cruz. Woo! Keep going! Woo! What a race! This is awesome! You did it! You beat the legends! Nicely done! I still can't believe what these simulators can do. I really felt like I was right there racing with Doc. Oh, man, does that bring back some memories. Well, get ready for another blast from the past. Looks it's like you're up next. Quite the week in racing. After the break, we pull into the slower than slow lane with old timer Lightning McQueen to discuss the ill-advised continuation of his career. Hey, Lightning, thanks for stopping by. Ill-advised? All right, guy. I'll level with you. Old 95 still gets big ratings for some reason. Oh, I get it. Fans love a comeback story, right? Comeback story? <laughs> That's hilarious. Nah, nothing gets viewers revved like a massive crash and burn. And you are overdue, my friend. Right, Natalie? Well, there are a few red flags in your statistics, Lightning. Going by the numbers, I'd say... See, that's the problem, Natalie. You can't rely on numbers alone. Racing something you have to feel and experience, right, Cruz? Yeah, I mean, if I've learned anything from Mr. McQueen, it's that you need skill as well as speed. Interesting. Jackson Storm, care to weigh in? Far be it from me to correct an elder statesman and his entourage. Wait, are, are we recording? Always! Wow. You're as slow as ever. So what do you say, Jackson? You up for a race with these two? Anytime, chick. And just to be sporting, I'll give them time to get ready. You know, run a few warm-up races until Natalie's sure their stats are top-notch. Top-notch? 
Hey, I beat you once, Jackson, and I'll do it again. Ooh, now that is good TV. I'll have my guys on location to track his lack of progress, and we'll even bring out the big guns in the studio simulator. Join us this season as Chicks Picks with Chick Hicks presents the Lightning Storm Cruise with Lightning Storm and Crew. Kachiga, Kachiga. I don't know what it is about old Chick Hicks that makes me want to shout out the old Kachiga, but you know, you remember that from the original movie. Anyhow, we got a nice little cinematic scene there right after a nice little flashback race, and now we're checking out the overall uh, skill tree here. This is basically going to be how we, uh, well, where our XP is kind of spent and earned, so to speak. So you can see each one of those little skill checks is actually an objective you need to complete in the game. And as you complete those, it's going to fill up your uh, Hall of Fame progress meter up top there. The further you get, the more things unlock, eventually leading to that big race against Jackson Storm that Cruz Ramirez and uh, Lightning McQueen were there yapping about. You can see here, though, we do have a couple of these unlocked. Now, it's cool. It allows you to go and check out each one of these little items, or it can actually, you can actually hit a square, or I guess it might be B button, or no, not B, it'd be X button for you, uh, depending on. On, uh, which platform you're playing on but you can see here we've got all sorts of different areas here that are locked up at the moment we're gonna actually get through quite a few of these and unlock most of them now here is our Hall of Fame progress and that's again that skill tree whoops we'll come back to that later and we got some extras what do we got here well we're gonna turn down the music just a wee bit although we like to rock out we certainly want to uh, hear everything else we also want to put up them subtitles now ironically so far everything had been subtitled but it showed that the subtitles titles were turned off so hey let's check out the weapons real quick we got an oil slick which is pretty simple uh drop some oil behind you or you can toss it ahead of you the nola fire uh boy i'm already behind here rapid fire this is like a giant machine gun gatling guns boo, 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 pew, pew, pew. Uh, road mines can be uh, left behind or tossed in front of you and rockets these are one of my favorites just kind of a single rocket there and we can shoot those at any of the opponents in front or behind us magnetic mines those are kind of cool too as they slide in close to the opponents anything metal uh, bombs these are a big deal and they blow up things it's like a giant a bomb that drops and uh, turbo siphon this is actually something that you can suck all of the juice out of your opponents and the tracking rockets these are the heat seekers kind of like the old red shell in Mario Kart and the high voltage this one is going to be electrifying and we're getting close to the end here triple rockets you get three in one that's right uh, booster jets are gonna help you get a little bit faster than you're usually rolling uh, kind of like an ultra turbo and the first strike rockets are going to be pretty sweet because they're going to go all the way past all of the opponents up to the front person who's leading the race and then of course the spike strips are going to be left behind i think you could toss them up ahead too uh, i'm not sure about that anyhow we are back uh, to the oil slick so we'll go ahead and roll out of that so pretty cool a lot of familiar weapons a lot of things kind of uh, reminiscent of another game we've already mentioned once uh, but uh, still lots of fun. I, I got to tell you, I've had many, many hours spent playing carting type games, especially ones that involve my friends sitting in the room, which this one allows. As you can see down in the bottom right hand corner, we've got up to four people can join in the split screen. Now we're taking a look at the characters. we got Lightning, Cruz, we got Mater, Sally. I was happy to see Sally as I wasn't sure if she's going to take part in the movie or not. Of course, we got, uh, oh, 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 we got Guido and oh, whoops, I missed one of those too. Oh, check it out. We got uh, Ramon. That's right. It was Ramon. We got Mater the Greater that's unlocked and actually it's really cool it tells you how to unlock each of these characters so uh, yeah pretty pretty awesome now at some point we're going to do a video with all of these guys unlocked is there any special guy you'd like to see us race with? Now, uh, keep in mind that we've already recorded this entire video, so we won't be able to do it here. But in a future video, we might be able to help out. Now, I thought it was pretty sweet. We get to play as Mac, and as my it's my understanding that we have to unlock him by completing or finding these ten hats, which I accidentally collected one at the end. And you can see a handful of other ones. I think they're going to be pretty easy to get. Uh, however, there may be one or two that are kind of hidden. So, again, some familiar faces on here as well as some un unfamiliar to some newbies and uh, all in all this game is sweet it is officially released as of June 13th 2017 and uh, it is on most platforms you can find it on PlayStation 4 Xbox one and Nintendo switch all at the standard average price of $60 and then of course uh, you can find it on ps3 Xbox 360 and Wii U for a little bit lesser at the $50 price point so hey this is pretty cool too once you select a character you can actually customify them just a wee bit I'm I'm not sure I'd 
can't really classify this as that much of customization, but you can change the horn, you can add some different lighting for the flames that come out, and of course, um, yeah, it's still fun. So it adds a little bit to the experience, and we're going to go ahead and what do we got here? We got one of our first races here. Now, uh, I'm going to actually talk us through this one, and eventually I'm going to kind of let the game take over, and it'll kind of uh, let you experience the game to the fullest, and then of course I'll come back at the end and we'll wrap things up and talk about what we have plans for which hey while we're talking about that i want to put this out there that uh, oh i messed this up totally i was hitting the wrong button uh, but tyler p is actually going to be putting together a trophy achievement guide for us and i don't know how many videos we're going to do i guess there's only 22 total trophy achievements for the game um, but we're going to go ahead and try to do at least a few of them. And if you guys want to see some gameplay uh, and stuff like that, let us know. Now, Reese and I have also talked about doing some streaming, as we've already mentioned that there is some cooperative gameplay. And uh, although my setup is finally set up for streaming, it's not really set up for two-player split-screen streaming. Now, I have another PlayStation behind me here, and if we can connect to multiplayer, then that's going to be awesome, and we'll try to make that happen. So, uh, one thing I thought was pretty sweet about this is you get all sorts of cues on screen to tell you what to do. Now, this is kind of a tutorial too, and I don't know if the game is going to continue to do this, and if it does, it might be a little bit annoying, and, and you can see I totally botched that. I thought that was a drift meter there, but it's actually a two-wheeled meter. And uh, I eventually figure out how to do that. But, uh, yeah, so a lot of familiar moves. And, again, it, it's simply karting at its finest here. And i got to be honest, I am really rough around the edges with my karting skills right now. I I've, haven't played any karting games or any racing games, for that matter, in quite a long time. And I finally figure out how to drive backwards, but it's not yet. Oh, and look at that, a little air trick. I got a little sideways in the air. You can see I'm the only one going the regular route. Even the AI is smart enough to take those sideways mains. I don't know. I, I, sideways main roads, because I guess that's what they're called. Uh, anyhow, oh uh, yeah, we're uh, not really sure how this works as far as, you know, some racing games you can actually lose ground by, you know, flying through the air, especially doing tricks. In this particular case, it actually earns you a little bit of your turbo boost, which in the end makes you go faster. So uh, I don't know if it's like a catch-22 situation or what. <laughs> Whoops, I forgot to hit the old jump button. The ramp was not enough. But, uh, yeah, it, it, this game, I, I would love to play this with a whole bunch of you guys. So I'm hoping that, uh, and I haven't gotten to that yet. It, I definitely know that there is split-screen co-op, and that might be all that there is. Because, uh, let's see here, I'm going to read my notes. Uh, players will be able to race against their friends and family members at home together with local split-screen cooperative play. So looks like we are going to be fairly limited on that. But uh, Reese and I will still find a way to set it up and make the camera work so you can see both of our ugly mugs. And uh, hopefully see our expressions as I crush the little dude. Nah, he's actually really good at this. And although I will say, so so after I did my whole video here that I did this, I, I let him take a shot at it. And he was playing, and I and I, I left the room. And when I came back, he was almost finished with the race, and he was winning by like a mile. And I was like, oh, dude, good for you. You're better than I am. You know, which isn't too big of a surprise. As he's younger. He's a little bit more agile with the video game stuffs. And uh, anyhow, you know, as it turns out, he had turned it to easy. Now, I haven't switched any of the stuff yet, and I believe all my gameplay is on the medium difficulty. But it is my understanding that you should be able to get all the trophy achievements even on easy. Now, you can see here, I did come in third place, which isn't first, but it isn't last either. But listen, I'm going to set the bar pretty low. I do believe this is one of my highest ranking laps yet. And although I actually left all this, I, I actually recorded and didn't press continue so I could hear all of this talking of Chick Six, which is really just talking trash to us. Um, and in the end, it takes us all the way to the skill tree. And look at this. So here's what I was talking. Earlier I was saying you get to uh, select whether you want to look at the individual ones and collect them, or you can redeem them all by pressing the icon indicated down there below. But it's kind of fun to go see what you've actually unlocked and how you got it. So side bash an opponent, that was easy. Perform any air trick and land success. Okay, got that. Perform either double front flip or double back. So, you know, I, I, it, doesn't, it doesn't appear as though you can go to each one of those and look to see what they are, but I, but I bet you you can. I haven't got that far yet. But, hey, look at this. We got a couple of new cars unlocked just for completing that first level. And, uh, oh, we got a couple of exclamation marks, mine. So, 
One of the things that I really loved about this game too is the fact that you can actually select what you want to do from right here. So it does give you the option to go back to the main menu and use that interface, but you can actually launch into pretty much whatever events that you have unlocked so far right here. Now, the only catch is I don't believe you can change your character or customize the character you have chosen without going back. So, hey, uh, I'm actually talking into the spot that I was going to let the game take over. So, hey, I will catch you towards the end of this. I hope you guys enjoy Car Cars 3, Driven Twin, and of course, if you guys have any questions, comments, or requests, drop them down below, but as I already said, I'll be back towards the end. That is the battle race for me right there, which is easier for me to say than for anybody to do. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can show This one is underway. Hard, break it loose. You call that racing? Okay, okay, I see you. Have it gone this way. Here, here. You best watch out over there. with Chick Hicks, and I'm your host, Chick Hicks. Okay, listen up. Tonight, I want to talk about Natalie Certain. She took a couple of unfortunate turns today and just never fully recovered. That's two losses in a row for her. Anything to add, Miss Fritter? You know, there were some solid hits, a couple of crashes. Wish there'd been a total annihilation or two, but it was all right, I guess. Well, we've reached the end of another amazing show. Speaking of amazing, I'm Chick Hicks. Good night, everybody.
folks. We're coming to you live from Fireball Beach for what I promise is going to be a humdinger of an evening for all you racing fans. Now, in this stunt showcase, everybody's going to be trying to score as many points as possible for performing flips and other flashy stunts. If you're hoping to see some air tricks from this racer, well, hold your breath. Focus. Speed. Buggity, buggity, buggity. Let's go racing. That was incredible. Oh, hey, it's you guys. You wake me up? Hang time. Oh, yeah. Did you see that? Look at that speed. I still got it. I'm getting a little dizzy just watching this. I did wrong, it won't happen again. I'm Chick Hicks, and this is Chick's Picks. Earlier today, Lightning McQueen continued to earn his title as the biggest loser ever. That's three losses in a row if you're keeping track. Okay, Natalie, how about a statistical analysis? I'd say today's race provided further proof that my numbers don't lie. This one was over before it started. Hey, that's it for tonight. Join us tomorrow for more highlights and commentary with me, legendary Piston Cup champion, Chick Hicks. These new statistics should really make a difference.
The sun's about to set on a gorgeous day here at Fireball Beach, and, and we've got a huge crowd of diehard fans gathering for tonight's main event. We're going to see something we like to call a takedown challenge. Now, the goal is to score points by eliminating as many competitors as you can. Yep, things are about to get nuts. <laughs> well, this car's probably not who you should go to with a question about weapons. Got this, Lightning. I am so stoked about this. Now this is racing. Man, things are getting too close out there. Time that much better. There goes just, well, just about everybody. You wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of that. There go the rock. Somebody's making quick work of this thing now. I can still win this. Look, oh, we got a special target out there. Sorry about that. Let's see that. Don't worry, I know a great paint guy. Chicks Picks, I'm Chick Hicks. Suppose we gotta talk about Lightning McQueen. Earlier today, he pulled off a totally unexpected win on the heels of a humiliating loss in his last race. All right, Mater, here's your two seconds. What can you tell us? Well, that race right there was what you'd call a classic example of aeromedical precision and speed. Well, that's it for now. I'm your host, champion for the ages, Chick Hicks. Good night. Here's a quick statistical update.
Hey there, folks. We're coming to you live from Fireball Beach for what I promise is going to be a humdinger of an evening for all you racing fans. Woohoo! We're about to witness a brand new record time on this track. Well, that's definitely what everybody's hoping to see. It's time to do what I do. And here we go. Hang time. Looks great on the land. <sighs> Man, that old record's a tough one to beat. Rest yet? You should be. been one of those days. Ah. And their previous record is going to stay standing. Just like you talk, Doc. Can't complain about that. Now this is a real solid performance up to this point. Oh yeah! Oh, nice landing. with Chick Hicks, and I'm your host, Chick Hicks. If you thought Lightning McQueen was gonna win his second race in a row today, you are both cuckoo 
and correct. And what do you have to say about this, Mater? Well, now, Chick, it's like this. Uh, sorry, what was the question? Hey, that's it for now from TV's kind of top-rated personality, Chick Hicks. Good night. We got some new numbers to consider. Ciao! Well, folks, we're rapidly approaching Lightning McQueen's historic race with Jackson Storm. And you can bet that old Kachow's shaking in his light ears, considering that... Not so fast! He's not so fast. Never has been. Oh, yeah! Here I come! <laughs> My trophy! Who are you? And what are you doing on my set? Security? Fritter's the name! And me and the Crazy Eights have some unfinished business with old Lightning McQueen. Cause I may be a huge fan. Oh, I'd say. But I want a shot at him, so set it up! As much as I would personally love to see that, unfortunately we've got sponsors and station managers hey, who... you listen here. Somebody's gonna get messed up. And if it ain't my boy Lightning Bolt, it's gonna be you! Take your pick, chick. Join us tomorrow, folks, for a showdown between Lightning McQueen and, uh... You hear that, Muddy Britches? You got yourself a date with Miss Fritter. The sun just set on a great day here at Thunder Hollow, so the time's finally come for tonight's main event. Folks, we're just seconds away from the start of the biggest battle race we've ever seen. Thunder Hollow's own Miss Fritter is fixing to put a ton of dents in the competition. Oh, baby, I sure am glad I'm not out there. Your next stop's gonna be the Chop Chop. Speed. I am speed. It's just you and me. <laughs> what? Oh, you better stay back there, Nike. Nothing like getting your tires dirty. I've seen many bands go faster than you. Oh, that car's too pretty. The Marshall! Trying to lose, huh? Interesting strategy. Don't worry, I know a great paint guy. Come on, bash him! Got something for you? Come on, I won't get you that.
wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of that. I'm the diva of demolition. Can't get Watch out for that! Prepare to be squashed! Good luck! Can't quite tell. Pitch it hard, break it loose. If you can't take the pain, then get off the track. The winner, I get it. You call that racing? It's just you and me. <laughs> Let's try this again. Just like you taught me, Doc. Oh, that car's too pretty. Smash him! <laughs> Come on, smash him! That's what I'm talking about. You ain't tough enough to face me. How'd I know that was you, Miss Fritter? You just keep trying your best. I've seen many bands go faster than you. Get him, boys! <laughs> Come on! I won't hit you. Put on the field and see the end of that. Didn't see that coming. You're about to become an unsightly skid mark on my undercarriage. Oh, yeah! That was incredible! Oh, yeah, just what I need. Can't be too smart going against me! Ah, not so good at this, are you? I couldn't have gone. Oh no! All right, hey, I'm not quite fully back yet, but I just wanted to say uh, this is clearly the funnest mode to me so far, and I'm gonna go ahead and give it a retry and try to get revenge on Miss Fritter and that big old Kubus. That's right, that big old Kubus. So anyhow, we unlocked another level and we've got some more skills coming. But hey, I'm gonna go ahead and retry this, and uh, we'll be back here in a minute. We'll uh, maybe talk about, uh, like I said, what's to happen and what the future is with videos in Cars 3 Drift Tour. I'll be waiting for you at the finish line. I autographed it for you. Now this is racing. <laughs> Not my best moment. You ain't having enough fun yet. React. Don't think. It works every time.
You're about to become an unsighted skid mark on the damage. <laughs> Enough to face me. I'll be waiting for you at the finish line. Make me proud, boys. Yeah, don't think. It works every time. Come on, I won't hit you that hard. Don't want it. Take down the winner. I did. Last lap. Time to make me proud, boys. It's hard to break it loose. Get him, boys. <laughs> I don't want to be on the It's just you and me. <laughs> If you can't take the pain, then get off the track. Come on, bash them. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm Chick Hicks, and this is Chick's Picks. Hey, folks, did you see this? All right. Dang it. I thought I'd be able to get old Miss Fritter, but no such luck. Clearly, I have some work to do, or maybe the old medium mode is too good for me. I don't know. Either way, I got some uh, work ahead of me. But, uh, hey, we've unlocked a few new things. You probably noticed during that, uh, well, in between those two last battles there, we unlocked the playground. And we're actually going to switch it up and try a different vehicle. I know I've been lightning the whole time, and that's kind of my bad. I started thinking about it halfway through this. I was like, gosh. But you know what? I'm assuming lightning is the fan favorite. However, we haven't seen the movie yet. The new movie hasn't even come out yet as of this recording. So, hey, uh, hopefully this doesn't ruin anything for anybody. But as it's my understanding, though, this actually, this whole game takes place right after the final race of the new movie. So it's supposed to continue on, which is kind of why we're, like, friendly with these new people like Cruz Ramirez and Jackson Storm. Because, uh, yeah, as far as I remember, we weren't really friendly with any of those people or did we know them before. So, anyhow, here we are. This is, you know, this really reminds me a lot of a game I used to play a long time ago on my old Dreamcast, which I know I've brought up a handful of times, and a couple of you keep asking if I'm going to pop it out or not, and I think I'm going to have to. As summer's coming up, we've got some gaming to do. But, uh, yeah, essentially, this reminds me of old Rush 2049, if you hadn't figured it out yet. Uh, that was one of my favorite games back in the day. Pretty sweet.
sweet game. Uh, I do believe they had it on like Nintendo 64 and other consoles too. Uh, but yeah, fun stuff. This is really an open world to kind of practice, get up all sorts of your XP and potentially, you know, get some of your skill tree parts unlocked too. Now, why they have uh, the rockets here, I'm not clear on yet, but I do believe it probably has something to do with the split screen co-op. I think you can bring your friends in and play here too. Now, uh, one of the things we wanted to point out about this area is that there are kind of like these mission objectives or challenges here. And you can see here, there's quite a few and there's different rankings for each of them. So unfortunately, it doesn't automatically start you facing the right direction. And I got off to a rough start. But look at this, as it turns out, we want to drive around, pick up these power ups and then blow up those boxes. Now I took a right turn and I should have taken in a left turn back at Albuquerque and I figured that out and I dropped down below but my line is not proper so uh, that's gonna be one of those things that we might do a video for you know we might come through here and do uh, maybe, maybe there's only one or two challenges that are worth putting a video on for maybe we'll do them all kind of like a free roam like we would do our Lego collectible videos or something so uh, you know this is also stuff that you can give us feedback on now you can see I tried to get one of those hats it, I, I believe there's ten of them We'll find out here in a minute. And, and it looks like they're even noted on your map down there in the bottom right-hand corner. I almost said left-hand corner. I almost pulled a Dougie there. <laughs> Sorry not to put you on blast, Dougie, but let's be honest. Your left is always your right, and your right is always your left. We, we'll figure it out one of these days. But uh, all right, so we failed, and we only got eight of the boxes, and I think we needed 30 for the gold rings. So uh, a long way away from succeeding on that one. And hey, if you wanted to go try that out, I believe you can roll right back up there and start it all over again. But me wanting to do some exploring, I hit the old juice, and I floored it over to the right-hand side. And look at this. I'm like, ooh, it's a big jump. I'm like, all right, all right, I'm going to go do it. I'm going to go see what's up here. And then I get there, and it's like the end of the ramp. And I'm like, okay. So this is kind of funny because this does not work out in my favor. And I'm not really sure on the, the design here of this as if you come pedal to the metal flying around this corner going the other way, which we're about to do. As you can see, we got lots of turbo built up. We can even go in the zone, which we haven't talked about at all yet. Basically, when you fill up your turbo meter completely, you can actually double tap on the turbo button and it will go into the zone. And if you do that, look, you get all blue and cool and, and way super fast. But look what I see what I was talking about. You get way too much momentum going over that first hump there. And it launches you over the actual ramp itself. So no good. Timing is essential with the turbo there. And oh, look at that. Speaking of timing being essential, I missed a pretty crucial jump there. But look, I'm down in like some sort of like a what appears to be a swimming pool or something, you know, like a little half pipe, half pipe. Bowl. Oh. I saw a hat over there. I do believe, no, that's not the one we get. Uh, we, we get one coming up here, though, off the ramp. In fact, I think it's the one that we missed the very first ramp that we saw when I mentioned them. Uh, I do come around and I check this out here. What's this? It's a getting air challenge. So there's all sorts of different ones. And I believe when we quit this area, it actually shows me kind of a little chart of all the ones that were available to me. Uh, and, uh, you know, as you can see, we're, we haven't completed any of them. So pretty much a giant fail. And all right. So there you can see I'm launching some of those weapons there, too. God, those bombs are pretty sweet. A little flip to my loo. And oh, here we go. This is the one right here. I get the old turbo going, hit the old jump button, and boo, you can show one of ten. And look at that. So there should be nine red dots left on my map down there, as there are nine more of those. And again, this reminds me a lot of Rush. 2049 being able to bounce all over the place. But here you go. We can see we got all the stuff here. I got a lot of stuff that I need to unlock yet. I've got about an hour of play under my belt, and I feel pretty good. I got a couple of trophies, four of the 22. And you can see here, those are all the challenges that we have not even checked off one of them. But uh, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to take one last look at it. So look at that. We got getting air, soaring above. So uh, different, different ones look like have different kind of themes to them. So. Pretty cool. We'll definitely check some more of those out. Assuming you guys want to see that. And speaking of which, we want to hear your feedback from you. We got all sorts of options. We got six different game modes. We got 20 different racers and I believe like 10 or 20 different tracks as well. So if there's something you want to see, drop us a request and we'll try and make it happen. Look at that. Sponsored team play. I think we need two players in order to make that happen, but 
let's see. Wait, wait, wait. What's it say? Uh, what do we? Oh, rookie takedown cup. Oh, that's right. We got the different championships too. We got the piston cup. He did what in his cup? Uh, Reese always laughs when I say that. Whenever he says the piston cup, you know the old Mater line. Anyways, uh, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for our Cars Three driven to win first look, where we gave you 45 minutes of gameplay. Once again, shout out to you guys for watching this, and of course, a big thank you to Warner Brothers for sending us a nice little gift pack. And if you haven't seen it already, make sure you check it out because it's not just a game. It was a cool unboxing. So, hey, check us out on social media. Of course, we got a Thumby Must See video waiting for you. As for me, that's going to do it for now. As always, until next time. Kachiga, kachiga, kasiya, sir.